contract to set an all-time sales record this year, and the president of the company has a feeling it may be due to a new marketing tool. But it isn't all about the money. He says this project benefits the whole community. Wait. Here on the corner of South and Earl, business is blooming. Amanda's the manager. Uh, she said, I think it's the mural. <laughs> It's an idea Steve Sanner stumbled upon when he hired someone to clean up graffiti on his Jiffy Loop store in Broad Ripple. I went from one little piece of graffiti at one store and now we have nine murals and we're doing six more next year. He started out paying artists a few thousand for their work. Well, then we got with the Indianapolis Arts Council and now we're paying up to $10,000 for murals. That's how much local artist Craig Martin was paid for this purple coneflower masterpiece. I just wanted it to be something that could be readily recognizable by a wide range of people. I didn't know the history of it, but but it's a indigenous flower in Indiana. It's beautiful and purple's my favorite color, so it, it all works well. Before the murals, Jiffy Lube took a different approach. I mean, we're the oil change, car business. We always marketed sports and to men. But he felt it was time to change that image. Martin hopes more people jump on board. There's that cultural thing that says, oh, flowers and beautiful art are more of a feminine idea than cars and oil changes and football are a male idea. And, and that's thankfully starting to break down and all of those things are falling you know, in together. Even the mechanics are finding interest. Our people aren't necessarily in the arts world, uh, although they have some cool tattoos, uh, but they're uh, this in their eyes too. Sanders says he can't help noticing more opportunities for public art, and he hopes this story inspires the same in others. To take it out to retail locations, highly visible locations, and allow artists to have a chance to show their work is really cool, and I think other businesses should take advantage of that too. Well, Jiffy Lube stores in Indiana were the first to paint murals, but Sanner says he's introduced the idea to owners in other states, and they're working to continue the trend across the country. All right, first things first, some scattered showers have been around today. You know, we had a few a little earlier in the day, then a break, and we've had a few more this afternoon, but they are thinning out. Just a few isolated ones as you look westward in the viewing 